Hi guys, welcome to the first tutorial on freebuildawebsite.com. Today we're going to download our HTML editor and um, it, we're going to use Composer because it's free. Uh, I am going to post up the link for some paid ones, but I know there's a lot of people out there that want to get started and really don't want to spend a lot of money. So this is the best way to go. Just go ahead and click on the download button. Okay. You're going to be taken to this screen right here. Click on the save file. Okay, but I've already saved it. You know, I'm going to just click it just for you guys so you guys could see. Okay, it's already there. Double click it. Extract the file. It comes in the zip file. Extract it using whatever program you have. Um, I happen to have WinRAR, which is the evaluation copy. I still haven't activated it. Okay. Now that um, I already have this downloaded. I can go here and open it up uh, where open it up wherever you extracted the file and what you're gonna notice is you're gonna see all of this right here and um, if you you can notice that it didn't automatically create a shortcut for me so that would be like a hassle when you're trying to you know get all of this you know find this program quickly and get to work and get you know get started so what you're gonna do is you're gonna hover the little arrow over this uh, composer icon right here and right click it okay and we're going to go to create a shortcut then you're gonna minimize your window go to the shortcut you just created and pull it out to your desktop okay close it and there you go here is your composer you've downloaded it you've installed it and you've created a shortcut for it double click your shortcut and there you go now composer is always gonna pop up and it's gonna have these uh, tips you can turn them off you can turn them off by just you know putting this arrow here or there or whatever okay well now that you have your HTML editor and you've downloaded it and you have it uh, now we're gonna be able to get started now when I say HTML and WYSIWYG editor and all this stuff um, I know it gets kind of complicated and when I first got started trust me um, I sometimes was overwhelmed but pretty much um, HTML is the source code for what you do so like when you when you um, put pictures in here or writing or or whatever you want to put in here uh, if you click on this little tab that says source you're gonna see all of this that you typed in starts tur to turn into code okay and now we have WYSIWYG editors like this one and WYSI WYSIWYG basically stands for what you see is what you get so for in other words you don't have to sit here and edit code even though sometimes you might have to edit a little bit of code but don't get scared it's not a big deal it's not as hard as it sounds and I will walk you through it okay so now that we have it installed and, and everything uh, keep on reading for the next post and for uh, and watch the next video on how to get started and actually put some content into building your page. Okay. Um, now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to get a hosting account. So why don't you go ahead and, and look at my next post. Keep on reading. And we will get you started with the 